Welcome back everyone, Goku Sun DVC as always, and welcome back to a new edition of Video Game Pickups. This is a PS4 edition for the month of May. So with that said, music today is Man with the Machine Gun from Final Fantasy VIII. So with that said, first the pickups, and this line of pickups is more about quality. So with that said, yes, I already had Persona... Four, or sorry, Persona 5 Golden, but this is the Steelbook Edition, which is why I went for this when I saw it cheap at GameStop a while back. As I have a weird fascination and obsession with Steelbooks. Next up, on the fine game side of things, recent also found at GameStop pretty affordable, Under Night and Birth. This was the previous version, waiting for the newest version to get released, which got a limited run physical release. But with that said, in this version, this adds one additional character. This is best well known as Uniclair, as many call it, which is a weird name I know. But still, awesome game regardless. Definite quality and one of the best fine games ever from Arc System Works, in my personal opinion. Next up is a game I was wanting. Found it actually on sale at GameStop, or not GameStop, but at Walmart a few months ago on clearance. The PS5 version, they were charging 54 and the PS4 version, they were charging 24 But this also includes a free PS5 update, so pay less than half the price and still get a play, regardless. So, it's called Using Common Sense. But with that said, yeah, I picked this up for like 20 bucks, Pretty good price, as I've been wanting to try Sonic. Frontiers, in all honesty, an open world Sonic game does intrigue me. Next up, we have if you like to slay lots of demons, you also want a decent difficulty curb. Well, this is a game for you Doom Eternal. Just the base game, but yeah, still very affordable and cheap as. Picked this up on a Black Friday sale. I believe it was like $9.96 or something like that. So 10 bucks new. I think that was a pretty good deal if you ask me. Next up is... Couldn't resist. It was uh, $3.99 at GameStop. Doom 3 VR Edition. For the PS4. So yeah, this is exclusively PS4. Since this was the only regular home console with, you know, VR. And still is. But with that said, I couldn't resist. This makes, I believe, the fifth time I've bought Doom 3. I do have a weird love obsession with this game. As it is my favorite Doom game of all time. As I've said more than once original Xbox or 360 and so on. So yeah, I love me some Doom 3. I like the fact that it has a much more survival horror feel to it. It's more atmospheric and still a kick-ass soundtrack regardless. Either way, for me, this will always remain my favorite of the Doom series. And to me, this is iconic cover art right here. But still, Definitely awesome getting a chance to play this in VR. Next up found for like $10 a GameStop. Couldn't resist. As I've not really played much of the original Dark Souls. So I feel this is the best way to play it. In the remaster version. It's the definitive way to play the original Dark Souls. Plus the fact it also includes DLC as well. Definitely adds a lot more to the value overall. Now, funny enough, speaking of Soulsborne games, second to last. Now, I did pick this back when it originally released. I just haven't done it in pickups. 
And yeah, I did choose, of course, the free upgrade for PS5 because I want it to run as best as possible and to have a much smoother look. As I've been on a backlog and I do want to hopefully soon actually do a record playthrough of Elden Ring, though that will definitely be a time investment. We're talking probably minimal six months of investment. Because I know from Max Million Dudes playthrough, which he invested over 150 hours. So, I'm definitely aware of the time investment definitely involved in this massive, massive game. Plus with the DLC coming soon as well. Last, found on clearance, weirdly enough. And yet the PS4 version, PS5 version was not, but again... Includes a free upgrade. So, you know, be smart. That's the thing I keep telling people. If you have a PS5 physical drive, just get look for the PS4 games that includes free upgrades. Because then, a lot of times, you will be able to get the PS4 version far cheaper in quite a few cases especially at walmart and places so don't get it just because it's a ps5 version get the ps4 as you can in a lot of cases like this just look for the upgrade thing and boom you save money live better or at least that's as their motto goes but with that said last but not least yeah top-notch quality game i've heard a lot of positive about and the fact some people involved in the Ninja Gaiden series were involved in this game's development. And I am a longtime fan and supporter of Koei Tecmo and Team Ninja games. Going all the way back to, I believe it was, the PS1 was my debut to Koei Tecmo games. Specifically with the Romance of the Three Kingdoms and Dynasty Warriors were my introductions. As a whole, though, Ninja Gaiden will always hold a special place for me. But with that said, that is it this time. I'll see you all next time. Stay safe out there. Same YouTube time. Same YouTube channel.